Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to one question a day. The question we are uh, going to deal today is the resting and reversal line. Reversal line, we know that the bone is a dynamic uh, entity and there is always resorption and deposition going on that is called as bone remodeling. And the resorbed bone is repeatedly healed by proliferating loose connective tissue by secretion of new osteoid and calcification. And that area of reception is happening in a cuff cone-like area called as resorption tunnel. And after a time of resorption ceases, the new bone is laid down on the old bone. And this calloped outline of a Hauship's uh, lacne that turn their convexity towards the old remains, old bone remains visible as darkly stained connecting lines called as the reversal lines. Following bone resorption, new osteoblast differentiation and deposition happens living between this line, separating between the old and new line. That is the reversal lines. They contain little or, little or no collagen and is strongly basophilic. They have higher contents of glycoproteins and proteoglycans. Because of these factors, they take up more hematoxylin stains and they represent the resting line represents the resting period between the subsequent layers of osteoblast formation during bone formations. And another candidate has, for the same question, has put up a diagram, says the, which are the parts of the bone and says the classification. What both these candidates have to actually have started the answer is, bone is a dynamic tissue bone undergoing constant remodeling. Okay. And there may be period of rest and influence of pathologies. All these influ events influencing bone hemostasis leaves back an imprint in the form of lines. And they are the resting lines and reversal lines. Resting lines are nothing but smooth straight lines consisting of intercellular substance with less collagen and more ground substance. They are the period of quiescence. Period of quiescence are seen in decalcified and normal ground bone structures. In decalcified and stained HND, they show us dark blue lines. They represent the resting period of the osteoblast during the bone formation. This is the most important point. Reversal lines are scalloped lines. They are not regular lines, which indicates post-osteoclastic activity. That is osteoblastic. This is osteoclastics occurring on the surface of bone undergoing physiological or pathological resorption. After osteoblastic activity, new bone is laid down by osteoblast over the old bone after the osteoclastic activity. Okay, Both the new and old bone are separated by a scallop line, which is called as the reversal line. The convexity of the line usually directed, this is the most important point, convexity of the line is usually directed towards the old bone. That is usually. And they are also the remnants of the horseship's lacunae, their convexity towards the old bone following bone resorption. Okay. And the diagram that I expect as a teacher is resting lines, eight ones with shading, longitudinal straight basophilic line within the things indicating of rhythmic deposition, a temporary osteoblastic arrest, resting. If it's a pathology, if there is temporary, osteoblastic arrest. The reversal line will be scalloped line. Osteoclastic actively resorbing bone. Osteoclastic post evidence of osteoclastic activity. Thus we come to the end of the discussion on resting and reversal line. Stay connected with this channel to learn more incrementally and attempt to learn at least one question a day. Happy learning.